Hello everyone. So here we will discuss a very good question over here, and it is favorite of uh, IIT. Like here, there are three soils, 150 mm long, 100 mm diameter, and these are placed like this. And question is asking this small H over here, which is the which is the head loss head loss in between this third soil. Now point is to be noted here when we are talking about such questions. So remember this thing, there are two types of arrangement. One is series arrangement and one is parallel arrangement. And here we can see that these soils are in series arrangement. These soils are in series arrangement. And when soils are arranged in series arrangement, so there are two types of arrangement, series arrangement and parallel arrangement. If that soils are like this and flow is going like this, so then this is like what? Parallel arrangement. Now point is to be noted whenever series arrangement comes in the question, remember that whenever series arrangement will be there, the discharge will be constant, discharge will be same in all these three soils and point is to be noted that I and head loss will be different, I and head loss will be different through each layer. Here we can see that this head loss in third soil is like HL3. This is the HL2 head loss in second soil and this is the head loss in one soil. So point is to be noted HL1 plus HL2 plus HL3 we can say is equal to total head loss and which is equal to from entry to exit uh, head loss 560 m. So now in such questions, now in such question when discharge is same and I and head loss is different series arrangement is there. Remember this thing, ki Q is equal to Q1 is equal to Q2 is equal to Q3 is equal to Discharge is equal to what? Volume by time. Okay, beta. So it is a rule. It is a rule, and always follow the rule. So we can say that total discharge Q will be equal to summation of Z i divided by summation of Z i by K i. We are talking about this entire soil mass, total soil mass. So we can say that total head loss will be there, and total length will be there into area is equal to K one into H L one by L one into area is equal to K2 into HL2 by L2 into area is equal to K3 into HL3 divided by L3 into area. And here you can see that question is asking about HL3. So we can say this is the HL3. So we will equate like this. When we are equating like this, so we can say that summation ZI. So that will be 150 plus 150 plus 150 divided by summation ZI by KI. So we can say 150 divided by first soil ka permeability is 0 0.01, permeability of second soil is 0 0.003 and permeability of third soil is 0 0.03 into head loss total. So total head loss you can see is like 560 in how much length? In the length of 150 plus 150 plus 150 into area is equals to K3, K3 is 0 0.03 into HL3 that is equals to question is being asked L3 150 into area and from here we can determine the HL3 okay beta so we can simply determine no problem is that area to area cancel so this comes out to be 40 so like this if you are following this rule if you are following this rule the discharge is same and hydraulic head gradient and head loss is different then you can solve such questions in just like in two lines okay beta so these questions looks difficult but it can be solved in two lines only remember this thing whenever series arrangement is there whenever series arrangement is there the charge will be same hydraulic gradient and head loss will be different thank you so much mm -hmm.